Retouching inside of Perfect Layers is very simple and you have a couple of different tools that you can use for different circumstances. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see that I have the perfect eraser selected and that'll be the first tool we use. This is our content aware fill tool and is great for more complicated areas. Once you have it selected, you can go up to the tool options bar and you can adjust the size. It's a little small right now because I'm going to remove the shovel in the front of this image. So I'm going to take that size and pump it up just a little bit. Then all I need to do to use the tool is click and drag over the area that I want to get rid of. So we'll go ahead and we'll paint over this whole shovel and the shadow. And once we do, I'll let go and it'll fill in as much of that area with surrounding information as it can. Now, if it doesn't work 100% the first time, you can use it again. I'm going to click over this little shadow right here because it looks a little repetitive with the shadow right over here as well. So I'll just click and drag and it'll fill that area in really well. Now, if you want to get extremely intricate with your retouching, you can use our stamp tool. On the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to select the clone stamp tool. And up in the tool options bar, you've got a couple of basic changes you can make. The size, the feathering, and the opacity of the tool. I'm going to leave the options as is so I can really show you how this works. What the clone stamp does is it literally clones part of your image and places it somewhere else. To do so, you're going to hold down the option or alt key on your keyboard and you'll get a crosshair. This gives you the ability to select the area of your photo that you want to copy. Let's say that I want to remove this strange lump that's right here. I want to replace it with nice, simple, soft sand. So I'm going to select the sample that I want to use to replace this area. So I'll click on the sand to the left, then I'll let go of the Alter Option key, and then as I move my mouse to the right, you're going to see that it is replicating that area that I chose. Now I just click and I can drag and you'll see that as I drag, it moves the crosshair to the left of my brush. It's sampling that area and replacing that lump with the new nice sand. This is a really, really great tool to get extremely close and detailed with your retouching. And in many cases, I like to combine the perfect eraser and the clone stamp just to make sure that whatever I'm removing looks great after I'm done. The last tool that I'm going to mention is our retouch brush. The retouch brush is great for very soft, subtle changes in areas like backgrounds, on softened skin, or spots that aren't that detailed. Up in the tool options bar, you can make all those basic changes like size, feathering, and opacity. To use it, definitely make sure that you don't go over very large spots. You'll see when I remove a tiny little rock, like the one on the right hand side of my screen, I'll click and drag and it does a great job of getting rid of it. All of those soft spots that I want to clean up, I'm just going to click over some of these little tiny rocks or areas that I don't like and it does a wonderful job of evening and softening out those areas. If I want to try and remove something that's much more complicated, let's say I want to get rid of this picture right here. I'll make my brush a little larger and when I click to drag, it tries to create this kind of generalized overlook of the entire area and it doesn't do a wonderful job. This is an instance for the perfect eraser or the clone stamp. So definitely make sure when you're using the retouch brush, you use it in very specific circumstances. Once you're done with all your retouching, then you can take your image and continue your editing process elsewhere.